how do you and your team make your learning content accessible to non-native speakers if this is something that comes up in your organization? So it doesn't come up in my organization, but I do have an answer, right? Use clear, simple language, right? Avoid idioms and jargon and just kind of make it as simple as possible. And you need to explain those technical terms. So think about short sentences versus compound sentences that makes it a little bit better. Then you have to look at, does your organization look to invest in that multilingual support? Because ideally the best thing would be to do is look at your audience and understand who your, who the, who the learners you serve are and get those learner personas and say, you know what, we have these three additional languages, let's convert our learning and add that in there. So making sure that there's resources available or glossaries to explain things in those items, make sure you have visual aids, right? Things that you can say things visually that don't always necessarily need a translation. So um, subtitles and captioning. So maybe you don't want to spend everything on, on doing, um, like a video in English and then going hiring somebody or or having an actor do it in, in a different language, but maybe you offer different subtitles or different avenues. Like, Hey, you speak French, you speak Spanish that you can at least have those options available to them. And just being culturally sensitive overall, making sure that like one of the things on my checklist for QA is, is our uh, pictures and images of people in our learning culturally diverse and do they meet the audience and then test it and get feedback like pilot the content go test it out there and say hey we've we've tra- done the translation go go test it I, i'm big for piloting and that's something that my team is starting to do more it's like okay go pilot a test and mm-hmm. let's see what the the people who do the job do the job score right because if they score 70 that default number of 80 doesn't work. Right. Right. So what's the realistic, what, what does the person who is we consider successful at the job score at versus just an arbitrary number of 80. And, um, you know, and, and depending on your, like for us, we, we only get, everybody gets the same assessment, but you might be in an environment where you can give alternative methods or mm-hmm. different ways to demonstrate understanding or practical demonstrations. So it really, I would say, depends on the industry. But those are the little things that I would think about in making it, if I had to make my learning more accessible to other languages, what I would do. Yeah.